running for office for the American Numismatic Association as president. What do you hope to achieve if you become president of the ANA? We haven't formally announced yet, but it looks like we're going to be doing that. How's that to preface it? I haven't done a press release saying that I will, but I have had a large uh, group of people that are, we call my, uh, my search committee, and they have uh, determined that I should run. It's very important. A couple of things is we've had great leadership at the ANA on the board with uh, Jeff Garrett and Gary Atkins, and I want to continue some of the work that I've been helping them do. <clears throat> I'm a very active board member. I've written a lot of policies and so forth, and we've got a few things we're working on now on, on some strategic plans, and I want to continue those same strategic plans. I don't want to go off course and spend a whole lot of money on projects. We have no idea who the market is or what kind of return we're going to get on that. So we're going to kind of stay the course a little bit but we want to expand the stuff we're doing right and get rid of the stuff we're doing wrong. And why do you feel you're qualified to be president of the ANA? I've been working my whole life for this. I mean, this is a perfect thing for me to volunteer to do. I don't think that people should volunteer to be on too many operations, too many, too many boards at once. And I, uh, and this is my primary concern. I'm, I, of course, I help the local clubs and state clubs all I can. But pretty much, this is going to be my my main focus for my volunteer work. Uh, it basically comes down to time, talent, and treasure, and I do have the time. Right now I put in about 15 hours a week, and I realize I have to let me bump that up to 20 hours a week and so forth. But, uh, I think if you talk to any of the board members, they'll say that I'm the hardest working, uh, at least one of the hardest working board members they've got.